The information at the start of this video is extremely important for you to get before I disclose information that could shake the average Christian's faith. The disciples make it explicitly clear that the life of Jesus Christ is not a made-up story hand down throughout the generations. For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers, for we have not followed cunningly devised fables when we made known unto you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but were eyewitnesses of his majesty. If you don't know what the Mount of Transfiguration is, go read St. Luke chapter 9, verses 28 to 36. It's what three of his apostles witnessed with their own eyes. Now on to our topic. If Jesus is the reason for the season, we should be able to find Christ in Christmas. No pun intended. If you're not a Christian, happy holidays. You're good to go. This video is not for you. But if you're a Christian and believe that Christmas is all about Jesus, this video is for you. Thousands of years ago, before people knew there was a real God, they created false gods to worship, including the sun, moon, and seasons. So most things today have pagan roots. For example, the days of the week. Sunday, sun goddess named Suna or Sol. Monday, Selene, the personification of the moon as a goddess. Tuesday, a one-handed Norse god of dueling. Wednesday, Woden, guide of souls after death. Thursday, Thor, god of thunder. Friday, Frigg, or Freya, goddess of sex and fertility. Saturday, Saturn, Roman god associated with wealth, plenty, and time. All seven days have pagan roots, being named after false gods or goddesses. Now let it be understood there's a big difference between something having pagan roots and an action tied to paganism. Which is our main topic? Christmas. The December 25th date is the celebration of the time when the days start to lengthen, which in the Northern Hemisphere, is in the middle of winter. Many religions in history have claimed the winter solstice as a holy day, combinations of different traditions including sun worship and pagan nature religions who have venerated the natural cycle for many thousands of years. Which is an explanation for why many traditional elements of Christmas predates Christianity. Look in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verses 3 and 4, and Isaiah, chapter 40, verses 19 and 20. People, this is our Christmas tree. The Holy Bible ties it to pagan worship. What are you going to do about it? But the customs of the people are vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers, that it move not. The workman melteth a graven image, and the goldsmith spreadeth it over with gold, and casteth silver chains. He that is so impoverished that he hath no oblation chooseth a tree that will not rot. He seeketh unto him a cunning workman to prepare a graven image that shall not be moved. But your tree is all about Jesus. How's that? When you know Jesus Christ was not born December 25th, Jesus Christ was born somewhere between June and September because no shepherd would have sheep out at night in winter-like conditions. Herein lies the problem. You have a lot of false gods born December 25th. These false gods date back hundreds and thousands of years before Christ was ever born. People, these mythical gods fabricated life and actions vary in similarities to Jesus Christ. Like a virgin birth, turning water into wine, buried in a rock tomb, the list goes on. Krishna was born on December 25th, in a manger, of a virgin. Having a carpenter for a father. Being targeted by an act of infanticide. Being killed by crucifixion. Being resurrected. The pre-Christian god, Mitras, called the son of God and the light of the world, was born on December 25th died, was buried in a rock tomb, and then resurrected in three days. Osiris was born on December 25th. The worshipping of Osiris originated about 5,000 years ago making this Egyptian deity, perhaps the oldest example of a pagan tradition involving a god who supposedly died, and was resurrected. Adonis was born on December 25th, is one of the many pagan deities that some scholars and writers characterize as a pre-Christian god, who like Jesus was born of a virgin, died and was resurrected. Dionysus was born on December 25th. Dionysus is equivalent to Ion and was also said to have been born of Persephone, the virgin maiden. Esteemed mythologist Joseph Campbell, M.I., 34, confirms this celebration of the birth of the year god Ion to the virgin goddess Korath, 
the latter of whom he calls a Hellenized transformation of Isis, the Egyptian mother goddess, was called the Great Virgin in inscriptions predating the Christian era by centuries. So why take a few things that are different between Christ and false gods and change Christ's real-life actions over to fabricated God false stories? The devil did it to make the only true and living God look false. So when I look for Christ and Christmas, I find pagan gods born on December 25th, the Christmas tree tied to pagan worship, Santa Claus placing gifts under trees, all pagan. It's true, and I believe it now. Jesus is not the reason for the season. Well, I really hope you have the strength to change. Because I enjoyed Christmas growing up, and I enjoyed it with my kids. I brought them up celebrating Christmas also, and they're doing the same thing for their kids. We have to break the chains somewhere.